Today's topic is Personal Learning Network, or PLN for short. This is exactly as it sounds. This is a learning network where you are in the center and you decide the people you want to connect with. You're going to choose the people that you want to learn from. Those people could be colleagues or mentors, could be an author you've read or a master teacher you've heard. And you don't have to meet face to face. You can use technology to connect with these people. But how do you create a PLN? The first step is to follow the leaders in your particular licensure area. This is my personal learning network. I've been at this for a long time and I've connected with a lot of people that I've learned from. But if you don't know how to find the people who are the leaders in your licensure area, go to Google. Here's a search for best elementary education blogs. Now you can substitute your licensure area in there for elementary education, but it is important that you search for blogs. Blogs are where teachers write substantial information. They write an entire lesson plan. They give the details about a project that they had their students complete. Blogs are important places to start. Also, I'm searching for just the last year. I don't want to see the history of blogging. I just want the best ones in the last uh, 12 months. So I find 52 educational blogs, top 100 blogs, another top 100. Just in three sites, I have 250 blogs that I can look at. So go out and read through some of the blogs that are on these lists. Try to find some things that interest you uh, among all the different people that write. And when you find an idea, connect with that person. This is a blog from Charity Preston. Charity happens to be on Twitter and on Pinterest. She has a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. And you can connect with her on all of those places so that you always get the latest thing that she's talking about. Typically, people write their details on a blog, but they tweet a link to it, or on Facebook, they create a link to it. So connecting with them with different ways is a good thing. Now, after you follow them, eventually try some of the best stuff that you're reading about, especially if someone posts something and there are a lot of replies where people say, I tried this and it worked, or I tried this and it was easier than I thought it would be. It's fairly easy to identify a really good idea. You don't have to have that idea yourself, but try some of the great things that people are doing. Now, once you try things and you get some results, write those things down. Start your own blog or post them on Facebook or Twitter or someplace where other people can see them. See, over the course of a few years, when you start writing things that you're successful with in your class, people will want you to be a part of their personal learning networks. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I encourage you this summer, start on your personal learning network. 